What's up, guys? So today I'm gonna show you on how to create or export your own thumbnails from Final Cut Pro 10. There are a few ways to do it. So first, if you want to just say export this specific frame and you don't want to edit at all, it's very simple. You just go here and save current frame. If you can't find this option, just go to add destination and as you can see there's this thing over here if it's not here you can always just choose it from here yeah you automatically been added here and just go here and make sure you've changed the settings jpeg usually and yep if you want to do uh, a ps a uh, photoshop or lightroom of this uh, particular image you can go and save on this file and you can actually edit on this uh, Photoshop yeah so after that you just click next and it's being exported the second way to do it is very simple as well so first I want you to select everything and press option G to create a compound clip and yep after this has been done yeah, wait for the adjustment layer. After this has been done, it's very simple. You just press Option and F, say this frame you want to use it as your uh, thumbnail. You just press Option F to create a freeze frame and then select this freeze frame and press Command C to copy and maybe create a new project thumbnail. If you want to use this thumbnail as your YouTube thumbnail, I suggest that you change the video resolution to 1080p because you know YouTube has this requirement of not more than uh, I think it's 2 MB of the file size. And then come to the new project and paste it over here. So basically this allows you to do some little adjustments, minor adjustments. For example, you can always add a title over here and then adjust the title accordingly like you can always just change the content of the title and you can readjust the position enlarge it change the font and then even change the color and outline and everything it's pretty much the standard thing to do like as if you're editing a video so the second step it's done over here and the third step would be that you can use your own titles and do it as a thumbnail so basically I'm gonna use some of these titles from the installed packs that I've used and I've introduced over the videos so since I've already purchased the mega elements pack just go here and look for the social media icons and logos yep so for example I want to say drag a Facebook icon over here I'm just gonna put it here and then maybe add an Instagram a thumbs up and share yep pretty much and subscribe yeah a lot of stuff here yeah it's overwhelming but it can be done let me unuse all of them and edit one by one i first have to deselect build in and build out so this icon does not move and change the scale and just go over here basically pretty much the same for the rest of all the icons and everything yeah make sure you have planned it out well <laughs> on where you want your social media icons to be so if you want to have a little rotation it could be done as well very simple and say that's the end result and you are satisfied with this and you want to export you just select this save current frame thing and yep that's everything you need over here but please make sure that your time frame is on everything let's say I use this both as well 
also have to be in the middle and then save the current frame and it could be done. And remember if you have already altered the opacity when you save the current frame the background actually will become a little bit of a grayish color you can alter it simply by go to the generators and find custom and drag this to the bottom and once you export it will eliminate the grayness of your thumbnail and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions just drop a comment and that's all bye bye